Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for today we're going to discuss some more methods on how to solve quadratic equations. I have you now. Ayan, so kung bago kayo sa channel na to, please do subscribe, follow, share nyo na rin, pakilike, and add a comment para naman makilala ko rin kayo. Kung may konti pa kayong mga clarifications, questions, and everything para naman magkaroon tayo ng interaction. Add ko na din pala shoutout kila Angelo Ignacio sa patuloy na panonood at pagsasuggest, pagkocorrect minsan sa mga videos na nagagawa natin. Shoutout na din sa mga estudyante ko sa Grade 9 Silicon, Grade 9 Mercury, Grade 9 Gold, and Grade 9 Platinum ng Maximo Elgat Labayan Memorial National High School. At shoutout na rin sa lahat ng Grade 9 sa ibang schools na nanonood rin. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Kung gusto nyo naman ng mga tutorial videos from teachers then meron tayo dito for Grade 7 kay Teacher Gigi at for grade 10, kay Sir Michael Tutorials, meron din. And yours truly nga ang sasagot ng inyong grade 9 tutorial sa mathematics. ba? So yun na nga kanina sinabi na natin that we're going to discuss about quadratic equations, method on solving. Ngayon naman, after discussing extracting the square roots and factorization, Ngayon naman, pupunta tayo sa third method natin, which is by the use of formula, or yung quadratic formula. The quadratic formula in the form of x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a is the formula that we're going to use whenever we have a quadratic expression that cannot be factored out easily. So, yun lang po yung kailangan nating tandaan, ano, yung x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Siguro, mas madali kung kakantahin natin siya. Meron kasi tayong mnemonic na ginagamit para ma-memorize natin ng mas madali yung quadratic formula. Sasabay lang natin yung lyrics ng Jingle Bells sa quadratic formula. Comment down below kung alam nyo yung kanta bago pa natin to ibigay ngayon sa video na to. Ganito siya. Nani? Umaywa. M.M. Kidding aside. Kakantayin lang natin yung Jingle Bells, no? Nagamit natin for lyrics ay yung expressions na nakikita natin sa formula. Ready? Let's start. x equals negative b plus or minus radical b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. O, oh, ayun. Ulitin nyo na lang. <laughs> Nakakaya. ba? So, using those songs or mnemonics, mabilis nating ma-remember -re yung formula. Let's try to consider the following example. We have here 3x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. Sa example na to, hindi agad tayo makakaisip ng factor para kay negative 5. Also, another problem is we have 3 as the numerical coefficient for x squared. Kung ganyan yung example natin, we might end up using quadratic formula para mas madali nating masolve yan instead of using the other methods. So, for the first step, we must be able to consider the quadratic formula x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Then, substitute the values of a, b, and c accordingly. Ano-ano ba yung mga values ng a, b, at c? Remember that a, b, c are the numerical coefficients of each term on our quadratic equation. Then, a should be equal to 3, b should be equal to 4, and c should be equal to negative 5. Ayan. So, upon substitution, 
then we simplify and combine like terms. So, kung magsasubstitute na tayo, magiging x equals negative 4 cb plus or minus the square root of 4 squared cb squared minus 4a becomes 3 times c, which is negative 5, all over 2a where a will become 3. Then, x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus negative 60 all over 6. Finally, we have x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 76 all over 6. There you have it. We have our answer as x equals negative 4 plus or minus square root of 76 all over 6. But upon analyzing, we can still extract a simplified form for this fraction. So, we need to simplify it further. Ano ba sa tingin nyo yung meron pang simplified form? At the first glance, we can already say that the square root of 76 can still have its simplest form. ba? Sabi natin sa previous lesson natin about extracting the square roots, if we have a non-perfect square root radicand, we can still simplify it further by extracting its perfect square root factor times the non-perfect square root factor, which is, for 76, we have 19 times 4, diba? So, we have 4 times 19. Then, getting the square root or the perfect square root of 4, which is 2, then, let's try to copy the non-perfect square root, which is 19. Then, therefore, we can still transform our answer to negative 4 plus or minus 2 square root of 19 all over 6. Finally, pwede na natin siyang simplest form by looking for the common divisor for the three numbers highlighted there. Yung mga whole numbers natin. We have 4, we have 6, and the whole number part of the radical which is 2. 2, 4, 6 shares a common divisor of 2. Pwede nating ma-extract yung 2 out from them. Then, by dividing them all by 2, it will be x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 2 divided by 2, 1. Then, it will become square root of 19 na lang. Then, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then, this is our final answer, the simplest possible answer. Some other examples will be provided as follows. Finally, let's try to have last example for solving quadratic equation using quadratic formula. Given this example, 2x squared minus 4x minus 3 equals 0. So again, the first step that we need to use is by using the quadratic formula x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Next is to identify our a, b, and c. For our a, we have, correct, we have 2. For our b, we have negative 4. So we are going to include the sign. And for our c, Definitely, it's negative 3. Then, substituting the values of a, b, and c to our formula, we will come up with x is equal to negative, b is negative 4, so negative 4. C, if the given b is negative, then therefore you should not omit the negative on the beginning of the formula. Magiging negative, negative B, dapat siya. If negative yung given mo na B. Yun kasi yung common mistake ng mga bata, kaya ko siya na-highlight. Kapag negative yung B, na disregard na nila yung negative doon sa unahan ng ating formula, which is not correct. So, next is we have plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC. 
So, negative 4 squared minus 4 times A times negative 3, which is our value for C, all over 2A, 2 times 2. Then, simplify, x is equal to positive 4 na siya because negative times negative is positive 4. Then, we have plus or minus the square root of negative 4 times negative 4, which is positive 16 minus, diba? 4 times 2 is 8, but 8 is to be multiplied by negative 3. So, magiging... 8 times negative 3, negative 24. All over 2 times 2, 4. Our continuing our solution, then we should have x equals 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 24 all over 4. Then it will become... 4 plus or minus 16 plus 24 is 40 over 4. Since we can simplify further the answer that we, we have, need to simplify it further. So, we know for a fact that when we have a non-perfect square root factor, we should be able to simplify it. Ano? So, so, we can have it written as 4 plus or minus 2 squared of 10 over 4. Ayan. Then, yung 4, yung 2, at yung 4 ay may common divisor. So, kapag may common divisor itong tatlong number na ito, tsaka lang tayo magsisimplify ng expression or ng final answer. Pero kapag wala silang common divisor, you need not to simplify it. Ano bang common divisor ng 4, 2, at ng 4? Diba 2? So, we need to simplify the expression by dividing all the terms by 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Plus or minus 2 divided by 2 is 1. Then, square root of 10 na lang. All over... 4 divided by 2, 2. So, there you have it. This is our final answer. 2 plus or minus square root of 10 over 2. Tama ba? So yun na nga guys, sana nasundan nyo yung lesson natin for today and if you have some more questions or clarifications, you can just comment here or PM me. Pwede rin namang mag-try out pa kayo ng other examples na gaya nito. Para malinawan pa kayo sa processes na involved sa solving quadratic equations using quadratic formula. So, kung natapos yun na ang video na to, please do subscribe, comment, like, and share this video para marami pang makanood ng video natin about uh, quadratic equations and hopefully, masagot kayo yung mga confusions at saka yung mga tanong nyo pa about sa lesson na to. Good luck guys! Happy studying! Oh, <laughs>